Dude, I am so freaking strong now, it is nuts. Oof. I mean, we didn't even feel like we had to do much there. Lucian jungle. I mean, the damage will be there. The damage is going to be there. My ability to kite is also going to be there because of my relentless pursuit, which is good. Um, the fleet footwork work is going to keep me healthy. Um, it's also going to give me that extra little bit of speed, so that way I can actually kite decently. The dilemmas that we face playing Lucian jungle is that we can't really gank very well. Like, the ganking potential is going to be pretty crappy. But if we use our dash properly and just focus on damage... It's also why I feel like Blade of the Ruin King might be a decent purchase, because at least it gives me that slow from the active. I don't know, man. I don't know. Eddie, thanks for the 12 months, buddy! The Golden Twig! Get some! <laughs> Glad to have you back, buddy. Thanks for the support. Can I throw in for an AP Lucian support? Oh god, AP Lucian support. We're gonna get our fill of Lucian today, aren't we? I can try. That's a nine second CD. Man, only my Q is on a low cooldown. Oof. You hate off meta junglers who don't have really, really low cooldowns. That's the that's our main problem. So, the fleet footwork is definitely going to help with, you know, general survivability. But, as any off-meta jungler... You're still going to be... Struggling... In the first... Clear. That's kind of the dilemma. Is that, no matter what, you take a lot of freaking damage. But I think let's get the red buff, hit level 3, then maybe try to compete for that Scuttle Crab. I just don't really think that Lucian is going to do a great job dueling against a Silas. Maybe get a gank here. Yo. Nice. Okay. So that was actually really damn good. We kind of saw that the rumble was being aggressive, and I'm really hoping if he TPs. That we can maybe just do another gank here. It's an aggressive play. Okay, it doesn't look like he's going to. Where did the Syndra go, though? Ah, oh, she wasn't there. Oh, it's the Silas. What's up, buddy? How are we doing today? Living the dream? Living the dream. Oh, yep, he's right there. Let's just do that. And now everybody runs away. Okay. So I gotta be honest, that was really, really good. Um, first blood onto the, uh, the rumble, which is great. Great charm! Oh, 
baby okay we're making we are making this lucian jungle work this is going to work people whether you like it or not i'm getting my team fed so we just saw the perfect opportunity there like the the cinder just felt way too calm there So that just ended up being a really easy walk in, get the red buff on her. Didn't even have to burn my flash word either, which is incredible. So that is pretty damn good. Now, if I can get the bot lane head, I'm really upset that the cannon just died there. Nice. Okay. So like the one lane we haven't really been able to spend a lot of time on is that bot lane. So it's one of those things that like now that they got a kill as well, every lane now has an advantage. We've started this game off with every lane having an advantage. That's what we're looking for. It's what we want. I'm going to go with this. Okay. Now, I've still got a debate. Because, you know, Blade of the Rune King is really going to help with ganking. Now, the, on the similar note, the blue smite really, really helps with ganking. Because if I can get in there, dash in, use the blue smite... Slow them down. Then Ari lands a charm or something like that. Then you're not looking too bad. But it's still... Nice to have that Blade of the Rune King active. Just to get that extra bit of damage. Now... Yes, we are counter-jungling as Lucian Jungle, by the way. Just want you all to know that. Man, I would love to get a kill on her, but... She's now playing super passive. I think she should probably be playing pretty passive, because that Ari has that advantage, has the ultimate as well. I should actually be leading with my E, so that way the auto-attacks from the double shot on my W and my Q... Reset it a little bit quicker. Okay. Yeah, she's playing super passive. Now, oh, Silas is right there. I mean, I found the Silas. I can see her. So we know he's bought. Yet we are still fighting. That is gigantic. Oh my, Kennen ult. Oh, Kennen. Oh, Kennen. That was nutty. Absolutely nutty. Man, if we could have kept that um, Zaya alive in that fight, that would have been so sexy. But I mean, once again, I can't really complain about anything there. We got, I think, three kills for the price of one, and we got the dragon off of that. Like, both top laners used their TP. Arkana just got, like, a three-person ultimate down, and I just kept on doing damage. So that was really, really good. Okay. And we picked up a couple kills, people! I don't know if you noticed... But I am now on the board. Okay. Let's go back because I've got 1,800 gold. And that will finish off my Blood Razor. Um, 
I think I'm gonna go Blade of the Rune King first, just for the damage. I just feel like this is gonna be better. As much as I really, really want to get Wit's End, I'm gonna get Wit's End right after the Blade of the Rune King. I feel like I need that active slow to get really good ganks off. And just for the dueling potential as well. Slowing them, utilizing my dashes to, like, avoid the, uh, the CC. And once again, playing as Illusion. I'm not saying that I'm gonna be able to do this. But if I play it right, I should hopefully be able to... Um, dash around, like, the, uh, Syndra E. Things like that. Like, the Rumble E. I should be able to dodge it. I'm not saying I'm going to, but I'm saying I should. So... If I can do that, then the wit's end isn't really going to matter nearly as much. But, you know. Perfect. Okay. We are on a killing spree now. Like, once again, that was just so good on the cannon. Just, like, utilizing that ultimate. And then, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm really, really greedy here. Not gonna lie. I like being greedy. But, I mean, I've already got the Blood Racers, so I'm doing a lot of freaking damage. And, of course, as a Lucian, I can just juke like that to get to the backside of this Rift Herald. And I got my Smite up in six seconds. So... Perfect. An enemy has been slain. Okay. So we've already got quite a few turret plates down here. So I think I'm just going to use it. Fuck it. Nice! Oh, she ended up dying still. Kind of unfortunate that the Ari died there, but I think I'm still going to get first right here. No! Shelly, no! Can you please leave me alone? Thank you. Okay, so we got the first turret. That's fantastic. Get the hell off of there. Get off of there! Um, first turret, tons of gold coming off of that. Okay. So I'm gonna go back, then I'm gonna grab my bot side jungle, and then I'm gonna go for another gank somewhere. Oh, and he makes it out. <laughs> you fool. She thought that she could get me. She thought she was gonna stop my back. She was gonna stop my back. Are you kidding me? Okay, so three, zero, and four. Dragon's up in 51 seconds. So I'm glad that I'm going to be down on this bot side. Because I feel like this is going to be really important. Um, because we do want to be prepped for this dragon. And look at my attack speed already. Like, the auto moves is going to be pretty damn amazing. And it also is going to reset my E pretty damn quick. Yeah, you better get away from that. Okay. Okay, bot lane's good. <laughs> they got three kills. What in the world happened there? And look at me, I just melt this thing. Holy, okay. This is all working pretty damn well, I've got to say. Um, I think I'm going to go, do I have enough to actually, no I don't. Damn, never mind. If I had enough to go back and get my Blade of the Rune King, I would have done that. But I'm thinking, is the Zaya player not in the group? No, the uh, Ari is the one who's not in the group. And Ari's been doing a great job.
Really, I've got nothing to say about how this Ari's playing. Okay, Silas is currently bot lane, which means... Damn. Okay, we might just be able to get some damage on onto this turret. Red buff's available, so I can't go for that. Here comes the rumble. Come on, buddy. You can't be serious. You can't seriously think that you can fight me. Now, the problem is, I say that he can't fight me, but, um, you know, he kind of hit that rumble power spike. He's got the, uh, the Leandries and his boots. So that dude actually does an insane amount of damage. Like, he's really, really gonna hurt. Okay, I am gonna go up top lane. Right after I clear these guys out. So that was exactly what we needed, you know, get in there, the cannon once again, great ultimate, got the stun down, I got the, uh, the Bilgewater Cutlass off, and I got the Chilling Smite off, so he was not going anywhere. I don't feel like the cannon needed to flash there, I'll, I'll admit, like, it was probably just, like, a safe flash just to ensure that we got the kill. But I feel like with my Bilgewater Cutlass and also the slow from Chilling Smite, we might have had enough, but, you know, I feel like my philosophy has always been I'd rather burn a summoner spell and guarantee the kill rather than not burn the summoner spell and potentially have the uh, person get away. Because there have been so many freaking things where I've just like not flash and the guy just gets away, like waltzes away with like 10 HP and I'm like, yeah, huh? Okay. That guy is alive, so I kind of want to take him. I just saw the Silas. My wife's eyes glow with spectral magic. I'm sure it's I just saw him. Where did he go, though? That's that's my dilemma. really good charm. I really, really want to go in here, I'm not going to lie, but it's probably really, really greedy of me. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. We're going to play it safer, because that's up in 20 seconds. But once again, though, picking the Silas, got a good ultimate off on him. He ends up dying, so he's 0, 3, and 1 with 75 CS, and I'm 5, 0, and 4 with 124 CS. We take these. Okay. Four seconds on that. Okay. Whew. Man, oh man, oh man. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do here is clear out this top side and then go for the uh, the wit's end. 
Let's go back, pick up the Wits End, because once again, that's going to give us so much magic resistance. And in all honesty, their, uh, their damage in terms of the magic department is kind of nuts. I'm going to sell this because I don't really need this anymore. And let's pick that up. So man, you got a Rumble, a Silas, a Syndra, a Nico, who's also building AP, not on hitter AD, and the Zyra. So yeah, tons of freaking magic damage. So I feel like this is going to be okay. Um, I'm trying to think here as to where I want this pink to go. The thing is, I still have a pink in my inventory, but the pink that's in the river right now is still mine. I've had control over this bot side river for like the entire game. I am officially being a dick. <laughs> and I love it! That dude is level 8. Level 8 to my level 12. He's gonna have some problems, I feel. <laughs> Dude, I am so freaking strong now. It is nuts. Oof. 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 <laughs> I mean, we didn't even feel like we had to do much there, right? We basically just pushed the Zyra. Oh, there it is! The Syndra, sorry. GG, well played. Oh, baby! 5-0 and 5. Who thought Lucian Jungle would be so damn clean? We feel pretty good about that game. I mean, I gotta give it over to the Ari. Even though the Ari wasn't even, like, grouped up with us, we played so well together. So well together. So five zero and five. We got an A plus. I'm just an A plus. No S. I played Lucian Jungle. I had the most gold in the game. I had 162 farm, which is the most farm in the game. Is it literally because I only had the one pink ward? It's because I only had the one pink ward. Damn it! Maybe I should have just placed all my pink wards down. <laughs> I mean, GG well played. That was absolutely nuts.